Hey guys, Mr. Collier here from Greenham County High School. I've got a great little tool to show you for your math classes, and it's a fabulous little tool. Uh, one of my guys in the IT department uh, found this and told me about it. I tried using it, and once I started using it, fell in love with it. When I started into Google Classroom, one of the things that I struggled with was being able to input those mathematical characters. And I looked around, tried to find some stuff, ran into Equatio. This was before they had turned it to a free version for the teachers. But then soon after they made it free for teachers, but still had to charge for the student use. Well, I wasn't going through all of that. Again, as teachers, we pay enough as it is and let's find stuff that's cheaper and makes it easier for our students to be able to do what they need to do on a daily basis. So we tried out this little program, it's called Chrome Dash. And the great thing is it works with any program, it works in and outside of Google, and it's very easy to manipulate. The kids catch on to it very quickly. Let me show you all about it. So to get to it, first we're gonna to go to the Chrome Web Store. And we're gonna click right here to extensions. Now, when we do our search, very uh, important right here, we want to type in Chrome Dash. And it has to be all one word. If you search for it as a two separate words, it'll bring back something totally different. So when we do this, we're gonna come up with these two options and we're gonna install this one right here. Now, as you can tell, I already have it installed. And when I installed it, it'll drop it right here. And there you see a little dash. That's for your Chrome Dash. So once you get that installed, we'll come right up here to this. Now this will drop down your box and this is your Chrome Dash uh, kind of toolbar, if you will. Now the first time that you use this, you'll have to install your packs. So I installed the lowercase, uppercase Greek letters, and then I also installed the math symbols. And to do that, you just simply click here, go to add pack, and then it will drop it into this list down here. And if you notice the list, it's in alphabetical order. So if you're searching for a certain mathematical function that you need to key in, just go to the first letter of it. So in, for instance, we want to find the square root. Well, here's my square root symbol. I type a backslash SQRT, and this is what it will give me. Fabulous little program uh, for Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, even the higher level math, pre-calculus, calculus, so many different things that you can do. And I'm uh, ready to show this for you. One little key that I do want to tell you, after the a few times with some students, uh, when we installed this on their toolbar, after they installed their packs, they did a refresh of the screen and the packs went away. Just simply re-enter them again, and then it's all good to go from there. Uh, now you can turn it on and off, and I'll show you why you would want to do that in a moment, just clicking by there. But that's all you have to do to be able to do that. So let's go have some fun here with Chrome Dash. So we're going to go to just a Google form, and we'll make a new form here. And I'll show you how this thing works. So let's click on a blank form. So up here, we're just going to call this Chrome Dash Test. Hit the tab key. I'm going to give a little shout out to my good friend, Laura Roganoffs, that taught me that little trick. Again, when you type this in up here and you hit the tab key, this drops anything that you type up here right into this spot. Now, uh, first place here, we'll put our name. Let's hit required. It's the way they can't forget to put their name on their paper. Beautiful thing about digital. So we're going to add a question. So let's go right here. So let's say, what is the, what is pi in degrees? And that's what we want to say. And typically before we had to type it this way. Well, the beautiful thing with Chrome Dash is I'm going to enter that key there first, that backslash, and I'm going to hit PI. And you notice immediately that changes over to a pi symbol. So what is pi in degrees? Now, anything that you want to in math is available to do that, and you can enter your own symbols as well if you wish to, but a neat little thing there. So we come down here, and obviously if we know pi, pi is a 180 degrees. So we want to put that little degree symbol in. So we do backslash DEG, and now we have 180 degrees right there on our screen. Uh, it's the best thing I love about having Chrome Dash is the fact that it's not another program that the kids have to manipulate one place or the other. It's simply there. It's running in the background. All they have to do is know 
the codes that's there. And again, if they forget a code, uh, simply click right there, go back to your list, find the, the list that you need, whatever character it may be, and type it in. So there's no need for taking a note on it, uh, putting it somewhere else, losing it or anything. It's right there, and it follows them around, obviously, on their Google Chrome bar. Uh, one of my favorite ones, uh, and I wish that I would have had this before we got through logarithms, is being able to do log base. So we were typing all kinds of crazy ways to do this with parentheses and so forth, but it's simply as easy as this. So for log base 2, 10, I'm going to do log the underscore 2, and it drops in my base right there, and then I can put that in like that. A pretty awesome little feature. Uh, that to where it makes it look exactly as the kids would be seeing it if they were working on a worksheet uh, on a standardized test or whatever. Now, whenever I do stuff such as cube roots, so CBRT, it gives me a cube root symbol, so the cube root of 81, or the square root, there's the square root symbol of 81 right there. The nice part of it is, is that, again, if I don't type it incorrectly, so, instance, I put in pi, and I'm expecting to see a pi symbol. But there's nothing there. Um, all I have to do is remember is that it's because I didn't put that backslash in. So we'll come over here and we'll do it again. So backslash pi, and there's that character. The, the nice thing is, is that now the kids know exactly when they've typed in what you want it to be in a correct form because they're going to see that mathematical character. Uh, the kids are raving about this. Uh, we've been using this live in my classroom now for almost a month. And I was really happy to have a chance to share this with some of my fellow colleagues and new colleagues that I met this past weekend at the KISTE conference in Louisville. And hopefully get this out there for you guys to use. If you have any questions on it, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can find me right here on Twitter, Mr. Collier, GCHS. Uh, send me messages on Twitter and I'll be happy to get back to you. Again, feel free to uh, share this out there with everybody that you know that uses this in a math classroom. and probably uh, chemistry, science as well. It's a great little tool. Take care, guys. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Get involved with Kentucky Go Digital. Attend regional events. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel.